Part two and part three. A total part, of what? Yes. Yeah, yesterday is a part one. <laughs> huh? Yesterday is a part one. Uh, part one. Part one. And yeah. yesterday? Yeah. See, today is a part two and part three. Yesterday was a portion of the money, first yeah. part. This is the second portion. Ah. Yeah. And, and the third. Second and third. Second and third. And third. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We finished. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we met. We, we met many of the stackers. <coughs> They, they are finished, they have no more money. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in this presenting we met some, uh, uh, some obstacles yeah. and uh, some uh, happy or unhappy or something, whatever, and uh, we um, confess, confess to you. And well, what do they, uh, translate, translate. What, what, what are they confessing? They ask for forgiveness, I would say, in like... Oh, yeah, yeah, so forgive Well, uh, confession, uh, yeah. confession is not necessary. Forgiveness, yeah. mm-hmm. Of course, you're forgiven. <clears throat> yeah, Tan Marco, we have a long <clears throat> way to go. <laughs> I'm sure Willie and Andy had some question. Since the last six months, she was able to, he was able to look at his worries, I mean, more clearly. Uh, 
就是其他生活的话，他做一件事情的时候，我总是会担心这件事情我做的过程当中会给别人带来伤害。No, his main worry is like that. Whenever he want to, he wants to do something, he was worried that he may hurt someone in this process. 呃，有了这种担心之后，就会做事情或者是生活当中，就会觉得会有压力。嗯 ，And because of his mind is thinking like that, he always had pressure when he started to do something. 嗯 ，Can you give an example? 啊 ，Can you 起一个？你可以起一个例子吗？嗯，就是比如说，呃，在工作或者生活当中去做什么事情的时候，说话也好，或者做事也好，啊。就是我总会在做事之前会把这个事情反复的做。Okay. He said, for example, in his daily life, before he does anything, whether speak or talk or want to do some action, he always will think of, oh, I'm going to hurt someone. 对，然后反复思考，然后就生怕自己在某一个环节能够做错，这个错可能会给别人带来伤害。Uh, he, he always worries that he may have done something and may cause others to suffer. So he will 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 这种担担忧去做事情的话，反而事情会越做不好，做不好，做不好。And because of this worrying mind, he cannot do his job. Always turn up. 嗯哼。所以我想，我的问题是说，我要怎么样？因为这半年我一直在在在在寻找怎么样去解决这个问题，但是不知道怎么样去解决。So he said, these past six months, he has been. Chasing for the answer, how to overcome this problem, so that he doesn't make the world. He doesn't know? Photo, 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 photo. <laughs> the same answer I gave him, yeah? I mean, just make sure your intention is correct. If other people are hurt, you cannot control that. If you have good intention, that's fine. As <laughs> Ajahn your intention is your want to do something. 目标，要是你的目标没有伤害别人的，你做了，别人伤害你，没有没有你的问题。So as long as his intention is clear, yeah, people get hurt is not his fault. No, of course it's not his fault. 啊，不是你的事情啊。就是我只要保证我做工作或生活当中，就是做事这种意图是明确的，然后是善意，是，然后就不用。但是有别人。Yeah, so he said, okay, if this is the way, that means he's going to do his whatever he wants to do as long as his intention is clear. Yeah. He just do it and if people are hurt, it's not his business. No, of course it's not his business. Yeah. yeah. And he will, in, in his reflection, he will, he will surely know sooner or later his true intention. When he sees his true intention is not correct, then he can correct the intention. Yeah? But worries is not for useless, it's useless, it's kilesa. Yeah? Ask the same. <laughs> he cannot practice because of his constant worry. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, 
Ali Ibsen nicht so schön zu diskutieren? Because um, he has seen that um, sometimes whatever he, he did, um, he actually saw the person being hurt. And uh, because of that, I think it gave him a bad um, experience. So, and this has sort of built up. Mm. He did he want to hurt the people? No, no. Okay. So, there's no problem. This morning when she went out, <coughs> she um, unintentionally saw something um, bad coming out from her stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay, and because of that, um, she felt that um, this morning she has a lot of obstacles, um, many, many obstacles while they were trying to get money. For example, her ATM card was actually um, eaten up by the machine. <laughs> she couldn't retrieve, so she felt really worried. I mean, fear and worry because because probably because of the initial um, something came up from her stomach. And mm, that has nothing. That has nothing to do. What came up from the stomach? Yeah? Because. Because she has a feeling that something bad come up, you know, that of course influence all her action. Later, when she was more calm, she felt an, an energy coming up um, from her throat out. Um, yeah, but I told her, don't observe this, you know. Huh? I mean, stay with your buddha, stay with the breath, and don't worry about all these other things. It just influences your actions. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's just like a, yeah, in the Western people, you know, I mean, people across the street and see a black cat, you know, and they think, you know, something terrible has happened. And then, of course, something terrible is happening to them. Because they have already the mind, the framework. I mean, just in, you know, when you see something is coming out, you know, what, what is the reaction in the heart? Huh? Don't look at, you know, what, what is coming out of the stomach or out of the brain, you know, just look, what is the reaction in the heart? Know what is going on in the heart. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That is important. Not feelings. Women tend to go very much on feelings. It's not important what feelings. Feelings arise and go. I told you that before. <laughs> it is really, for practice, it is really important. Something comes up, you know it, and you go back to the Buddha. Yeah? So that it cannot influence, you know, I mean, it cannot influence your action. Don't think about That makes things just worse, yeah? That's what the Kilesa is like, yeah? They bring up something, you know, and they say, 
Oh, look at that bad, 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 yeah? Actually, when they speak Chinese, they can speak really loud as well, like they would speak you, because sometimes the Chinese is low on the recording. Yeah, I mean, that's their problem, yeah. <laughs> I told them, you know, to record it over there, yeah? <laughs> Seal factor because uh, something I especially feeling uh, about this uh, seal, and I sometimes always uh, I think just because uh, uh, it's 220C seven rules mm -hmm. because of, of course we don't break them, mm -hmm. but uh, but just because of not breaking them uh, uh, is is it mean that we are already uh, based on sila yeah i mean the lord buddha saw that you know i mean so that is enough you know i mean that's enough for our sila yeah. <coughs> and then uh, some why 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 do you think that there should be some more sila no oh, i mean uh, <coughs> especially in this uh, vatakan then there are five kind of what? Thing, but Khandavata in even in Ajahn Mahabhuva books mentioned about this uh, 14 Khandavata uh, Upachaya uh, duties duties oh. 14 duties yeah <clears throat> if, we, if we miss something or because obviously sometimes even uh, this comes when we Try to concentrate. Is it because uh, we are not based on sila or something else? Boris. <laughs> I mean, trust. Yeah. I mean, through your reflection, you will know if you go when against the sila. Yeah. If you if you see you didn't go against the sealers, you know, I mean, it's fine. Hmm? When things come up, you know, look at them and say, okay, yeah, did I do anything wrong? No. So. Hmm? The kilesa is, you know, it's one of the hindrances. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean... If your if your sati is not strong enough, you will not see. You know how you break the sila. Yeah. If your wisdom is not strong enough, you won't see how you break the sila. So, I mean, you have the two hundred twenty-seven roots. Keep them, and that's it. It's fine. And if you see, you know, in the daily reflection, you went a, you went against one. You know, I mean, <coughs> you 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 confess it every every two two weeks. Yeah. I mean, that's enough. Yeah. And you make up your mind, you know, I mean, you ask for, you know, you, you, you say, you know, you don't want to do it again. That's it. That's what, what uh, the confession is about. After many, many, yeah, see? What do we confess? I've done many, many, uh, many breakings or many apart, many awakenings of the rule in this, in this category, yeah? So, from now on, then I won't do it again. Or train myself not to do it again. Yeah? That's it. So it just it, it falls in the same category, you know. Worry, 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 worry. Yeah? Worry about your Buddha not being there, huh? Worry about that that you not you know that you are not with your with your breath or with the Buddha or with the investigation. That's what you have to worry about. You see, leave it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Okay. Yeah. Then can I double check a point with you? Yeah. Uh, with regard to what you said um, in the previous talk, um, you were saying that when there's pain, you investigate like the pain, and I mean, if it's really, really painful, you yeah. follow the pain until you get to the point of knowing where it comes from. Yeah. But at the same time, um, when uh, but we are supposed to be able to accept the pain or whatever feeling yeah. and look trace back. Is that Oh, did I get it wrong? Um, yeah, some something like that, you know. I mean, we stay we stay as long as we can. First of all, we accept the feeling of pain. Then we ask the question. Yeah? And only, you know, and most of the time, in the beginning of investigation of the pain, the pain just disappears. Yeah? Until, you know, the pain becomes so strong that it doesn't disappear, you know. And that happens only very, very far away. Yeah, so... And then, you know, when we close upon the truth, what the pain is, yeah, then it jumps to another place. And then we follow, yeah, from this place to the next place. So it jumps from the left knee to the right knee, from, from the right knee to the back, until it shows us the place where it really originates from. Okay, but um, do we, like, um, at the same time, I mean, or at whatever stage, do we actually investigate not investigate, like try to trace back what came before the pain? No. No, not for no, no. The no, for, for the pain, not. No. Mm. <clears throat> pain is sharpening stone for our wisdom, for our investigation. So, no more questions? Hmm? All happy? I have a question. <clears throat> When we go too much to the left or to the right, we do wrong. So, how can I be sure that I am in the middle? You said to me, I am too, too verbissen. Yeah. But, yeah. You're right, of course, but sometimes when I do something with my will and I say yeah. I don't give up, yeah. if I don't give up, there yeah. is a, a wonderful feeling. Yes. Feeling of near But that is not forbidden. Forbidden? Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know yet the uh, tense. tense. Uh, <coughs> If you're too tense, yeah? Tenseness means always, you know, I mean, you, you want results. Yeah? And that is, of course, incorrect. If you say, I'm not giving up, that has nothing to do with tenseness. What is it? Yeah. Hmm? It's always, you know, I mean, for us, you know, especially when we come from the West, yeah, but now it has probably penetrated to the East as well, we always want results. And that's where we get tense, because we don't get results, we try to enforce it. Yeah? And that's not the way. Yeah? But not giving up, that is the way. Yeah? And if we give up, you know, we give up, you know, with, a, with promising ourselves, okay, next time I go for more. Yeah? Just for a minute more, or for two minutes more. Or just for one more breath. Yeah? <clears throat> so that each time, you know, I progress a little bit. There's nothing wrong with giving up. I mean, you will have to give up, you know, because, I mean, you cannot... Otherwise, you know, you can, can be enlightened in one night, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> And even the Lord Buddha didn't manage that. <laughs> <clears throat> no, we have to give up, yeah? I mean, we are, we are so tricked, so fooled by the Kalesas, you know, they constantly throw us, you know, sticks between our legs, yeah? So, I mean, how can we not stumble, fall, you know? And, and, and you will notice, you know, even later in your practice, that you, when, once, once you get a very good insight that is very helpful for your practice, the next moment you forgot it. And only a year or two years later, it comes up again, oh, I was at this point. I mean, that they, they have all sorts of things, you know, on, on the shelf, you know, the, to be able to disturb you or distract you. 
So I mean, don't be, don't be pramad, yeah? I don't be careless, yeah? Just know this. Now tense is always, you know, when we expect results, yeah? And that's where it always goes wrong. Yeah? And some people are so tense, you know, that, that they actually break and, and stop practicing. Dhanacha uh, Mahabhava said, you know, Majima Pada is not the middle way on the cushion, yeah? It is, you know, it's t- it, it is extreme effort, yeah? But it is not going into the extremes. That means know your limitations, yeah? And, you know, accept the limitations, yeah? Physical limitations be physical limitations, yeah? Or be otherwise, yeah. But don't take them for, for granted, you know? I mean, if you think, you know, I can only sit one hour, that is my physical limitation, I mean, don't take that for granted, you know? You extend it, yeah? But you think, but whenever you think, I can't do that, then say yourself, why not? Huh? You, yourself, are setting the borders, yeah? Your own limits. It's only you. Nobody else sets these, yeah? I cannot do that. I'm too tired, you know? It's, it's you, you set this limit. In the moment you say, why? This limit is broken, yeah? And the more limits you break, the freer you are. Hmm? There's nothing that, that we cannot do. I mean, our, <laughs> I mean, our chitta created this body. It isn't, isn't it amazing? Yeah? So, I mean, wh- wh- what can the chitta not do? Yeah? It can do everything. Yeah? I mean, when, when you look up the chitta of the highest gods, they create whole world systems. With all the details. Huh? Isn't that amazing? Yeah? And we just think about, oh, that's amazing. Yeah? No, our chitta can do that. Yeah? But the moment we limit yourself, and you know that from school, you know, oh, I, yeah? I mean, I can't do that always means I don't want to do it. Yeah? It's never mean that I really cannot do it. I don't want to do it. I'm too lazy, or I mean, it's so frustrating, or it's too difficult, or whatever. <clears throat> That's our own limitation we set. Okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, when I first started, it used to be pain, right? It used to be severe pain. Yeah. But now it's numb. Proper numb. Yeah. It's okay. Do I just continue? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's this, you know, some. some but, yeah, but you know, the, bio, the chemist says, you know, I mean, that's not good. <laughs> You know, the blood is not flowing, you know? No, it's not the blood. No. I mean, numbness doesn't come from the blood not flowing. Oh. Numbness comes from the nerve sitting on the nerves. So I just ignore. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get out, you know, you just massage it a little bit, you know, and it starts to gribble a little bit, you know, that is rather painful. But, you know, then it comes back comes back to life. It's the same thing, you know. I mean, if you ever have been in an operation and they, you know, injected some, um, whatever whatever you call it, you know, an analgesic, yeah. I mean, you feel, you know, I mean, it is a piece of flesh. You really can cut down, you know, you don't feel anything. And that's the same thing that's, if, uh, that's before, you know, when numbness comes in. In the end, you know, it is really as numb as, you know, this, yeah. I can just continue. Yeah, sure. Carrying. Yeah. <clears throat> and then just be careful when you get up, you know, just slowly, you know, I mean, because you cannot move the, you cannot move the leg because, I mean, it is numb, yeah? I mean, you, you place it in front of you, massage it a little bit, you know, and only stand up, you know, once you can move it, yeah, control it. Otherwise, it will fall over. Yeah? And that's not the, that's not the point. That's not the exercise. It used to be constantly, you know, for, for me, yeah? Because it used to be severe pain, and yeah? now suddenly... It's just numb. Mm-hmm. Next time when you get an operation, you know, just look, yeah? <laughs> it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing, you know? When the numbness 
goes back, you know, I mean, there's a, I mean, it's the electric, electricity coming back, yeah, I mean, the foot gets alive again. And that is unpleasant, that is very unpleasant. Yeah? But the same thing with an, op uh, with an operation, yeah, it is very unpleasant when you come back to life, yeah. Don't worry, be happy. And then it's uh, more like worrying, like, am I going to lose the leg? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 aren't the Kilesas clever? They are very clever, yeah. I mean, how often did you read, you know, did you read a book, you know, or were, were sitting uncomfortable and, you know, in the end you didn't even notice? I mean, your arm was numb or your, yeah? I mean, sometimes when you sleep, you know, and, and it is, you can't move it, yeah? And do you worry? See, you, you just hold it, you know, bring it back until it, you know. <clears throat> See how the, I mean, this is amazing how the Kilesas can fool us, yeah? And they fool us with this, yeah? <clears throat> And you can tell yourself the best death is, you know, dying while I do meditation. So. Yeah? A thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, doctor, doctor, doctor. <laughs> okay, do we have more questions? Uh, just a question I has been listening to Dhamma talk. Uh, then Tanajan Mahabua talking about uh, when he practicing, uh, especially this uh, with uh, after he's doing uh, this uh, pain practice and he and kind of he get motivation mm -hmm. and then he once he do he and I heard this lot of from a lot of ajans you know, who became an arahat, uh, whatever he see, he, he see nothing. That empty everywhere with open eyes, not closed eyes. Uh, when he mm. saw trees, but they knew this uh, in convention, this tree and this called tree, but in essence... I don't understand what you're talking about. I and mean, when the normally we're talking about this samadhi and when we uh, when yeah. closed eyes and in uh, one position. Eyes are in one position. I mean, sit when we are sitting. In one position, yeah. yeah. And when we don't walk or. Yeah, when we stand. I mean, one pointedness. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. point. One, point, one pointedness. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, even in Sri Lanka, my teacher also mentioned when he asked from a. Uh, a teacher in Thailand when he uh, came to visit about this uh, emptiness yeah. because he experienced it. Yeah. Uh, can someone experience this emptiness uh, with open eyes? Uh, I mean, when, when uh, every day work, not just sitting, but when we are working and uh, This emptiness, I mean, you, you mix two things up, you know. One is samadhi, where you concentrate it, and the other thing is when the chitta is empty. Yeah? And when somebody believes that the chitta is empty. Yeah, this, uh... I mean, somebody, you know, went to see Lungta, one of his disciples went to see Lungta and said, my, ch my chitta is completely empty. And then he just told him, get, get the hell out of there. You are still in there. You know that it is empty. So you're still in there. And that is the problem. Emptiness has no object. <laughs> you see the emptiness. Eh? Yeah. The emptiness in itself is just emptiness. Eh? Mm -hmm. So he looked, I would never talk about that. He sees the emptiness eh? of things. I mean, he has a much deeper understanding of it. 
I mean, I understood it incorrectly because even in English translation also, I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know what, what, what he's talking. Maybe these are Ajahn Sutra's translation, I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> I have no idea. But uh, normally, normally, I mean, yes, he talked, you know, when, when he was, you know, nearly on his deathbed, you know, he talked about the emptiness. Yeah. Everything is empty. Yeah. Empty of meaning. Yeah, that's maybe the... Yeah. Empty of meaning. It has no <laughs> meaning. It has no, it has no, 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 no value. Doesn't this, the word is not empty in this sense, yeah? That there's nothing in there. Of course there are thoughts in there, you know? But it's empty of meaning. The thoughts have no meaning, the feelings have no meaning, all these things have no meaning. Body has no meaning. It's just the things, it's just reality as it is. Yeah? So don't get confused and don't even think about it, you know, as long as you know the Buddha, you know. I mean, yeah. why, why think about all these things? Eh? Why to think about, yeah, when I'm around, what can I see? I don't know what I can see. Eh? When you climb up the mountain, you know, I mean, it is very difficult to climb up, you know, Mount Everest, yeah? What do you know what to see, yeah? Some people who went up there said, you know, you, it's at the roof of the world, you know, I mean, you see, see everything around the world, yeah? But you can't imagine it when you're still at the foot of the, tree, of the mountain, yeah? Why, why, why wonder what is up there, yeah? Wonder what is your heart, you know, right now, yeah? That's more, much more important, yeah? And if you listen to Tanachan talks and if you don't understand something, then just let it pass. I mean, but the killers says, love to know, yeah? That's why you get another you know, definition, wanting to know but not being able to know, wanting to understand but not being able to understand. Yeah? That is a vicha. Yeah. Okay? Because with, I get uh, then when uh, Tanajan talking about this wanting to know, you saw a killers or not wanting to know a killers? Of course, there are killers, yeah. but we need them. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, when, then I kind of, I, I have a thought, then shouldn't I listen to Dhamma talks? That means. Yeah, but that is not for wanting to know. Yeah? I mean, a, some, some yeah, it's for understanding, it is for, for, for guidance. I mean, a Dhamma talk is coming from the heart to the heart, you know, it leaves out the mind. Yeah. <clears throat> So that's why you should listen to a Dhamma talk with your heart, not with your mind. Yeah? If you, I mean, these are just words. Yeah? I mean, the words they have no meaning, you know. If, if, if Tanachan talks about some things, yeah, I mean, they have no meaning unless you have experienced it. Yeah? Now, when we talk, for instance, about Venice. Venice is a very famous city in Italy. Yeah? It's a name. You've never been to Venice, yeah? So you don't know what it is, yeah? Maybe you have seen pictures, yeah? It's just like, you know, some people tell you about it. But you really, it, it, it is, it's just nothing, yeah? But the moment, you know, you, you go fly to Italy and go to Venice, then you understand what they're talking about. It. Because you only can understand it once you experience it. <clears throat> Tanajan gives the same example with what Papan taught, yeah? People, you know, I mean, yes, they heard of Wat Papantat, you know, they heard all sorts of stories, but they don't, still don't know. Unless they go there and experience it, then they know. And then the name Wat Papantat doesn't mean anything anymore. Okay? So, Really, Andy, no questions? No questions. Don't worry so much about feelings. Worry about putta, 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 putta. Or breath. She says she always forgets. <laughs> she always forgets. Yes. Okay, so you'll get a reminder now. <laughs> Afternoon, after coming back, even when she wants to go, it just 
She just couldn't do it. Yeah, but now she can do it. <laughs> because she was still in the frame of mind, you know, because of this bad feeling, yeah? Everything passes, yeah? I mean, all feelings passes. The feelings pass pretty quickly, yeah? So, I mean, don't, don't worry about it. You know, it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. Yeah? And only in the reflection you will see, you know? I mean, you will see, when, when you do tonight the reflection, you will see how this, This feeling and what you made out of this feeling, yeah? It's not the feeling itself. What you made out of the feeling is that, ah, something bad. How do you know it's something bad? Maybe it's something good. <laughs> she said that at the moment when she saw it, she actually didn't um, judge whether it's good or bad. She only felt the fear when she saw the bad. Fear. Yeah. Fear. fear. Yeah, why? <laughs> she just um, felt a sudden fear, I don't know. Yeah? I mean, then, you know, I mean, say there's fear, okay, and let it go. Yeah? <clears throat> don't get, you know, don't get, you know, mixed up by these things, because, I mean, otherwise you swing forth and back, forth and back, yeah? I mean, just like, you know, you're stuck in a revolving door, yeah? You neither can go in nor, nor can you get out. Yeah? You just turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah? so then leave it at that. <clears throat>